Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the garden. Welcome back to Mother Nature and me. Are you guys having a beautiful morning? It's a really nice day out. It's kind of a beach day. It's nice and sunny. The buzz, the bees are buzzing. The butterflies are flapping. I wish you all could see what I'm seeing just behind the screen. <laughs> Come and visit me on the weekend so you can see the garden. It's looking more beautiful than ever with all the rain we've been having lately. So today we're going to be making something called confidence clouds. And what that is, is a little cloud. And you see I have glued some cotton balls on there. And I wrote down on this little rainbow that's shooting out from below some of the things that I can do, that I'm good at, and that I'm proud of. So if you want to join, go ahead and help your mommy or daddy help you to gather some supplies. What you'll need is paper, uh, a marker, a black marker to write in the center, some cotton balls. Guess what I have? I have something very special. You probably don't have this at home, but if you do, even better. I have natural cotton. This is cotton that's growing right here in the garden. So I'm gonna use that. But you can use regular cotton balls, um, uh, paper, and make sure you get some markers or colored pencils to make all of the, uh, all of the little rainbow shoots. Turn down my volume here. Okay. So go ahead and gather those supplies and the book that we're going to read is very special and it fits right along with our confidence cloud. It is called I Am Truly. Super cute book. So while everybody's gathering their, their supplies, I'll go ahead and read the story, okay? You guys ready? It's called I Am Truly and it was written by Kelly Greenwald and illustrated by Amariah Rosher. And while I'm reading this, I want you guys to be thinking for our project later, some of the things that you're good at, that you're proud of. Maybe you can climb trees really good. Maybe you are a good cook or a good gardener. Keep all those things in mind. It's gonna come in handy. And maybe you'll get some ideas from our story. Okay, I am Truly. Hi, Truly. I like frogs and the color blue. I can climb trees and be a rock star too. Do you guys like frogs? I know some little kids who come here to the garden that love frogs. They try to find them and lizards. I can run fast and build tall towers. Who's that little puppy dog? I am a superhero with magical powers. I am smart. I am studious. I am a high achiever. See her doing science experiments? Studying, reading books. You guys like to read, right? I am a high achiever. I am strong. I am skillful. I'm a born leader. What are they doing there? Looks like she's helping her friends to climb a mountain. I can sail the seas on a little boat. I can eat every bite of a root beer float. <laughs> I 
I can tie my own shoes. I can find treasure with clues. Ooh, I like a good treasure hunt. I am clever, I am curious, I am an engineer. What is she doing here? Looks like she's making teddy bears, making some toys, designing them. She's an engineer. I am confident, I am courageous, I am a volunteer. I can fly to the moon. Shoom! What a beautiful picture. And dance on the stars. <laughs> I can tame wild lions and f race fast cars. I can swim like a fish. I can shoot and swish. Woo! Little basketball player and a swimmer. Is this giving you guys ideas of the things you can do? Keep them in mind. We're going to need them later for our project. Can you swim? Can you play a sport? Can you play a musical instrument? Think of all the things. You have to make a list of five things for our project. Five things that you can do. I am funny. I am flexible. I am an entertainer. I am focused. I am fierce. I am a dinosaur trainer. I can grow purple grapes. I can create amazing shapes. I can feed hungry bunnies crunchy carrots. I can learn Japanese and teach it to parrots. I am truly, watch me soar. I am small but mighty, hear me roar. I can do anything I set my mind to do. Do you know that you can do all these things too? You are truly fabulous. And what did you think? Cute story? Okay, did you guys get any ideas? Did you get any inspiration? What are some of the things you can do? Some of the things you can do that you're proud of. Things that you didn't know how to do maybe a few years ago. Things that you definitely weren't born knowing how to do. You had to learn and maybe it was hard and maybe you had to overcome some hurdles to get there, but now you can do it. 
like swimming or riding a bike or even tying your own shoe. That's an accomplishment if you can tie your shoe. <laughs> Maybe you can read. Did you just learn how to read or write? Keep those things in mind. So let's start making our confidence cloud. So your cloud can say in the middle, it's, it can say, I can. And you can have your mommy or daddy help you to write if you need help writing. It can, just, it can say, I can, or you can also make it say, I am. Since I already made one that says, I can, I'm going to do one that says, I am. And I'm going to think of all of the things that I am that I'm proud of. Like, I am smart, I am brave, I am helpful. And we're gonna put those things in the little rainbow shoots right down here. Okay, so let's get, let's get our supplies now. Now, here's a special idea for you all too. As you can see, I used a piece of paper to make my puffy cloud. But since this is mother nature and me and I am at the garden, I figured maybe I should use a leaf. Use something from nature. Although paper is also from nature, it's made from trees, right? But I'm gonna try it out with a leaf. So you can do that too if you want, or you can use paper. So if you need help using scissors, have your mommy or daddy help you. Let's start cutting our paper or leaf into the shape of a puffy cloud, okay? Kind of little, little bumps around, like how you would draw a cloud. Let's do it together. I've been seeing a lot of new faces lately at the garden. It's making me very happy every weekend when I'm seeing lots of my old friends coming back to visit and some new friends too. Did you guys know that we have a turtle in our pond? Not everybody knows that because he doesn't always come out and show his face, but he's been coming out a lot lately because we have some very generous kids that always want to feed him, him or her. I don't know if it's a girl or a boy, but this turtle gets fed a lot. So he's been coming out lately and poking his head out. He's huge. He's a big old turtle and we don't know how he got there. He just showed up. He said, wow, this looks like a pretty magical place. I think I'll make this my home. <laughs> so if you come by, just remind me and I'll give you some turtle food so you can feed our special turtle. All right. I cut mine to look kind of like a cloud shape. Can you see it? Now, you have to add the puffy the, um, the cotton balls, right? So grab your cotton balls. And like I said, I have this natural cotton that we grow here at the garden, which by the way, we have some cotton plants for sale too. So you can actually take one home and grow your own cotton in your backyard. That's pretty cool. You never have to buy cotton balls again. <laughs> so let's get our glue. And we're gonna glue the cotton right on to the cloud, okay, to make it look puffy. But you wanna leave the center blank because we're gonna write our message. Let's actually write first and then we'll glue the cotton around it. How about that? That'll be easier. So grab your marker, your black marker, and let's write either I can or I am, whichever one you want. I know it looks backwards to you guys here because I have this on selfie mode, but it says I am. Okay, once you've written that, now let's get our cotton and glue it all around. Let's work together. The cotton is one of my favorite plants that we have here at the garden. It's really cool because it's so common, like you see cotton everywhere, right? 
our clothes, a lot of time our clothes are made of cotton, our t-shirts, maybe our towels, our bath towels, our, our kitchen towels. Lots of things in our life are made of cotton, but you don't really think about where did it come from? How did it start? It started as a plant, it grew in the ground. So I'm gluing this down like, like this. And the cotton has these little seeds inside, little seeds. And if you ever come visit the garden, you can take some of the seeds out of our cotton and bring them home if you want to grow it from seed. You guys working with me? I want to see pictures. if you guys have noticed but for my crafts for for the crafts that we always do at the garden we we never really use we never use glitter did you did you ever notice that because glitter doesn't break down it doesn't decompose it gets lost in the soil and the mulch it affects the worms it affects the plants it's not a natural substance so we have banned glitter <laughs> and I'm bringing that up because we are almost at the end of plastic free July we're all being more conscious and thinking of ways to be more eco-friendly so keep that in mind when you're doing your crafts what's gonna happen to the craft after you don't need it anymore something like this is pretty eco-friendly this is made of a leaf that decomposes the cotton is all natural and then we're just gonna put some paper. The tape we're going to use is not natural. So it's good to be conscious of these things. Okay, do you have your little cloud made? Okay, let's get our uh, paper now to make the strips. The strips of rainbow colors. What colors are in the rainbow? Do you guys know? We have red, we have orange, yellow, green, and I put purple, but there's actually something called indigo, and then there's violet. So it's kind of like blue and purple hues, but I just mixed them into one just to save space. So I put purple, okay? So that's one, two, three, four, five. Can you think of five things that you want to write down? Let's make our strips. So take your paper and your scissors and you're just going to cut strips like that, five of them. One, two, three, four, five. And then you can just cut across and they'll all turn into little strips. So this is what I have. Okay, ready? Now let's... Um, we're gonna color these strips into the colors of the rainbow. So grab your markers or your colored pencils or your crayons, whatever you have. And let's start with the first one. The first one is red. Now, what are we gonna write on this first one? 
if you're doing uh, I can maybe maybe you can draw maybe you can read maybe you can write you're gonna write you're gonna write on here something that you can do that you're proud of mine says I am so I'm gonna write on my red strip I am smart okay well, I'm just gonna write the word smart because we already have the I am in the cloud. All right, so that's what I'm gonna write. Let's go ahead and write that together. And of course you wanna use your black marker to write so that it'll show up on top of the color. And you're gonna write it going downwards like that and we're gonna then tape it to the back of the cloud so that it's coming down like a little rainbow shoot okay so you're gonna tape it onto the back And you know, an activity like this, you can always add to or redo it over the years because as we get older and we grow, we learn how to do new things, right? We learn how to do all kinds of wonderful things and we never stop learning no matter how old we get. So you can, maybe you can make a big giant cloud out of a poster board and add on to it over the years. That would be a very cool project, huh? Okay, got our first one. Now let's move on to orange. Get your next strip. Get your orange marker or crayon or colored pencil. Orange. And let's go ahead and color it. Okay, orange. What should I write? First I have, I am smart. How about I am brave? That's a good one. I think I'm pretty brave. I've done a lot of things that uh, were scary at first, but I did them anyway. So that, I think that would make me brave. I'm gonna write brave. And same thing, tape it onto the back of the cloud using your tape. Okay. All right. Now the first one I made I think looks a little bit more like a cloud because I used the white paper. But I like using the leaf too. It makes me happy to know that once the tree is done with the leaf, because this is a leaf that fell on the ground, I didn't pull it off the tree. Once the tree is done with the leaf, I can make use out of it. It's pretty cool, huh? Okay, we have red and orange. What's next? Yellow. For yellow, I actually have something special. I w I, since I'm outside here at the garden, I was able to look around and find a yellow leaf. You see that? And I'm going to use this as my yellow strip. I think that would be a little cool touch of nature, right? So I'm gonna cut it into a strip. And if you don't have a yellow leaf, just use your paper and color with the, with the yellow marker. We actually have all of the co uh, colors in the garden. All of the colors of the rainbow are here in the garden. I could have made this whole thing 
from all the different colors in the garden. That would have been cute. But they're not all leaves. Some of them are like little flowers. Like we have these beautiful purple flowers. And we have yellow flowers blooming right now. All right, here's my little yellow leaf. And let's see, I'm gonna write, hmm, I am smart, I am brave. How about I am friendly? I'm pretty friendly. I think I'm a good friend. <laughs> so I'm gonna write friendly on the leaf. Again, I know it looks backwards to you guys, but it says friendly. All right, so let's tape it on. There we go. I have marker all over my hands. <laughs> Okay, what's the next color, guys? After yellow, we have green. And once again, guess what I have? I have a green leaf. I have two green leaves. See which one works better with the marker. So I'm gonna use those. If you don't have a leaf, that's okay. You can just use your strip of paper and color it green. All right, let's work together. Let's see, I will write, how about, how about I am curious? That's a really good one. Are you curious? Curious means that you're always wondering. You're always willing to learn new things and wondering about how the world works and wondering about anything there is to wonder about. Curiosity is a great uh, a great tool in life because if you stop being curious about things you kind of stop learning right you reach an, you reach an age where you think you know everything you never know everything there's always something new to learn so I am very proud to say that I'm curious I'm gonna I'm gonna write curious you have your green strip go ahead and tape it on all right we have one more guys I'm running out of space here I have space for one more what shall it be purple Purple, purple. I don't have a purple leaf, so I will use my strip and color it purple. Now, like I said before, the rainbow, if you look up the colors of the rainbow, you'll see it's actually next would be indigo and then violet, but I clumped them both together and I just said purple just to save space. So go ahead and take your color, your purple colored marker or your purple crayon Let's make our purple strip. What will we write on this last one? Hmm. There's purple and I think I will write I am rely <clears throat> excuse me reliable do you know what reliable means 
reliable is like when people can count on you. You say you're gonna do something and you do it. You say you're gonna be somewhere and you show up. Reliable means your friends and family can count on you. You always keep your word, you keep your promises. So I think I'm pretty reliable. So that will be the last one that I'll write. Okay, it's a little hard to read the last one, but it says reliable. And I'm going to tape it on to the back of my cloud. I can't wait to see all the things that you guys wrote. This is a good way to remind ourselves of all the things that we're proud of and who we are. Good way to remind ourselves of who we are and who we want to be. What do you think? I think it's pretty cool. You can also punch a little hole at the bottom of each of these and put ribbon hanging down if you want to make it even more festive. Very cute project. So my I can cloud says, I can write, I can cook, I can listen, I can teach, and I can dance. My I am cloud says, I am smart, I am brave, I am friendly, I am curious, and I am reliable. Awesome. I hope you guys enjoyed that. This was a great way to start the morning. I hope you send me some pictures of all the beautiful clouds you made. I want to read everything that you had to say and all about who you are. All right, guys, signing off. Come and visit us over the weekend, Saturdays, 9 to noon. Sundays 11 to 2. We're open every weekend now. All right, see you guys soon. Have a beautiful day.